Gunsmoke. Brought to you by Chesterfield. Chesterfield packs more pleasure because it's more perfectly packed thanks to Accuray. They satisfy the most. Around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Starring William Conrad, the transcribed story of the violence that moved west with young America, and the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man, Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. The first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful and a little lonely. Cutting that man's hair. Oh, are you in a hurry, Chester? Well, no, no, sir, I ain't, but I don't take to sitting around the tonsorial the entire day. Uh-huh. Oh, Here you are. Looks like he's through now. Well, it's about time. It'll be 25 cents, mister. Oh. Okay, thank and, you. And, uh, Chester, why don't you go first, huh? Oh, no, sir, I don't mind waiting. You go first. <laughs> yeah, that'd be like eating pork chops in front of a starving man. <laughs> well, if you insist... I guess I'm going to be next, Mr. Teeters. I'll be glad to get you out of here, Chester. You're fidgeting around over there, and then they made me put a brand on that man. It's just because I'm hungry, Mr. Teeters. I ain't at my dinner yet. Well, next time, eat before you come in for your haircut. I sure will. And bring a lunch, too. Set still. Marshal? Uh, yeah. What, Teeters? Heard something yesterday might interest you. No. A couple of strangers was in here. The owls. Heard them say they was taking the Santa Fe to Wichita last night. Um, yeah, that's pretty interesting. I ain't through yet. They come from Texas, Marshal. San Antonio. What they said was there's a gambler down there who's coming to Dodge. Said he'd be here on the stage tomorrow. <clears throat> uh, Teeters, if you cut hair the way you tell a story, you'd go broke. Put your head I've... down, Chester. What well, my This head particular down. gambler, Marshal. Well, they said he's real clever. And also the biggest crook they ever knew. Oh, is that so? They said he could outsmart anybody. Well, did they say his name, Mr. Teeter? Yes, they did. They remembered it. It's Search. Nick Search. Nick Search. You sure, Teeters? That's what they said, Marshal. Uh. Well, uh... Maybe they were just talking. Now, how do you mean? Well, any man's got enemies, especially a gambler. You sound like you don't believe him, Mr. Dillon. Well, I don't want to, Chester. You don't? Why? Nick Search isn't only a gambler. He's also about as handy with a gun as anybody I ever knew. Now, Marshal, you don't mean you're afraid of him. We were friends once, Teeters. Real good friends. <laughs> more pleasure, packs more pleasure. Chesterfield packs more pleasure because Chesterfield's more perfectly packed. The more perfectly packed your cigarette, the more taste and mildness are released for you. Chesterfield, made by exclusive Accuray, has an open, easy draw that unlocks all the pleasure of fine tobaccos. Now, Accuray ensures an even distribution of tobacco from one end of your Chesterfield to the other. Chesterfield is firm and pleasing to the lips. 
mild yet deeply satisfying. Chesterfield packs more pleasure because Chesterfield's more perfectly packed. To the touch, to the taste, Chesterfield packs more pleasure because it's more perfectly packed. By Chesterfield, mild, yet they satisfy the most. Stay dry to be here any minute, Mr. Dillon. Yeah. How long has it been since you saw this next search, anyway? Oh, uh, 10, 12 years. Uh, it was in Texas you knew him? Well, there and other places, yeah. Like I said, he was a good friend, Chester. Yonder it comes. My, you make it sound like he must have saved your life or something. That was just the opposite, as a matter of fact. What? I saved his. You did? A man tried to shoot him in the back, and I put a stop to it. Oh, Oh, there he is. Hey, Nick. Nick, search. Hey. He sees you. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Hey, Matt. Matt Dillon. Nick, how are you? Well, I heard down the trail you was marshal here. And I heard you were on your way. <laughs> Did? Who told you? Oh, it doesn't matter. Uh, Nick, I want you to meet Chester Proud. Well, Chester. Well, I'm glad to know you. <laughs> oh, Matt. Matt, if this don't beat off. Yeah. Uh, you, you planning to stay a while? You know a fella here named Sam Noonan? Well, sure. He runs a long branch. That's it. Yeah. Tell you what, Matt. You wait here till I dump my war sack in that hotel over there, and then we'll go see him. A gambler can't work without a place to gamble. <laughs> I'll be back directly. Okay, Nick. Well, I declare he seems like a nice fellow, Mr. Dillon. Yeah. Hey, you don't believe what them men told Mr. Teeters, do you? <clears throat> About him being a crook? Now, Chester, when he comes back, I, I'm going to have to ask him about it. That's the long branch, man. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Nick. What's the matter? I, I, I want to ask you something. Well, go ahead. The uh, men who said you were on your way to Dodge, they said something else about you. What was that? Well, they, they said you were a crooked gambler. Did you believe them? I'd rather believe you, Nick. Yeah? You saved my life once, Matt. If you catch me cheating at cards, you can try to take it back again. <laughs> That's not a very clear answer, Nick. <laughs> I'm no crook, Matt. I'm too smart for that. Yeah, let me go and talk to this Sam Noon and then we'll have a drink. Okay. Nice place. Oh, that's Sam behind the bar there. I'll introduce you. No, no, Matt. No. Never mix friends with business. Well, then I'll wait for you. Uh, I'll, I'll be with that girl in the corner over there, Sam. Oh, eh? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> I won't be long, Matt. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Kitty. Hello, Matt. Who's your friend? Uh, his name's Nick Search, Kitty. So that's Nick Search. Oh, you heard of him, huh? A couple of Texans were talking about him the other day. Who were those men, Kitty? They never said their names, Matt. But they were sure talking about Nick Search. Nick's an old friend of mine. He is. 
And I think those men were lying. Well, I hope so, for your sake. Oh, why for my sake? He's an old friend of yours. <laughs> That's not what you meant, Kitty. No. They also said he's pretty fast with a gun. Yeah, he is. And so, if I back him up here, then it's going to look like I'm doing it because I'm afraid of him, huh? Not to me. You know that. Yeah. But to most everybody else. I don't know, Matt. Here he comes. Sam's bringing him over. Uh, hello, Marshal. Hello, Sam. Marshal, I seen you come in with search here, so I figured you must know him. Well, won't he admit it? <laughs> I don't like mixing friends with business. You don't have no choice this time, Search. Not if you want to deal in Long Branch. What is it, Sam? Those two Texans and their stories? Well, I heard them. We all heard them. Probably a couple of saddle bums lost their pay in an honest game and now they blame the dealer for it. It happens every day. I know that, but they, they said other things about you. Like what? The way you can handle a gun. Marshal, are you a good friend of this man? You want me to say it's okay for him to deal here? Now, wait a minute. If Matt's got to get involved, I can go someplace else. No, it's all right, Nick. I don't mind. Well, what do you say, Marshal? Yeah, Sam, I'll vouch for him. I run clean games here. And I run a clean town here. All right. I'll take the Marshal's word, search. You can open your game tonight. Oh, uh, Good. Come on, Matt. Let me buy you that drink. Okay, Nick. Uh, I'll, I'll see you later, kid. Yeah, sure. What's the matter, Sam? Oh. Oh, it's nothing, Kitty. Why, it's just a hate to think Marshal Dillon's standing up for that fellow for the wrong reason. <laughs> started with Sam Noonan. Before long, everybody got to thinking I was backing up Nick's search because I was afraid of him. I talked to Nick about it, but he laughed and said there were as many fools in Dodge as any place we'd ever been. Well, maybe he was right. Anyway, after a month passed without any complaints about his dealing, I began to forget it. So one afternoon when Chester and I were taking our ease on the porch in front of my office. Mr. Dillon, did you ever know any Irishmen? <laughs> well, of course I have, Chester. I, I mean, do you know much about them? <laughs> well, I have a feeling anything I don't know, you're about to tell me. Oh, well, no, sir, it, it's not me. It's a fellow I used to live with. He was born in a place called Dingle Bay. That's in Ireland. So and much. what did he tell you? Well, sir, he told me never shoot an Irishman. What? Yes, sir. Because he said, if you can lick one of them, then he'll be your friend for life. But he warned me about that, too. He said, be careful, never punch one of them in the face. Just give them a good whack in the belly, and then a little child could whip me. <laughs> That's a good thing to know, Chester. I'll remember that. Yes, sir, I've always remembered it. I've made lots of friends that way. Irishman. Yes, sir, all Irishmen. All of them? All of them Irishmen. <laughs> They're mighty fine people, Mr. Dillon. Yes, they are, Chester. I sure do like them. Hey, ain't that old Enoch Mills? No, where? Yonder, come down the street there. Yeah. He looks mighty serious about something, too. Well, if I was the richest cattle buyer in Dodge, I'd look serious, too. Just thinking about all the money he's got sobers me. Oh, Hello, Marshal. Chester? I do, Mr. Mills. Sit down, ain't it? No, oh, some other time, Marshal. i got to get back. i got to clean this fella out. What? That gambler, Nick Search. I, you in a game with Nick Search? Yeah, I've been going on for 12 hours. I got him going, Marshal. I've been winning steady. Now I'm about ready to double on everything I've won and really take him. I see. Uh, how much money does it amount to, ain't it? Well, it's what I just got from the bank to throw in. It'll be some $5,000. Yeah. What's the game? Poker. Head and head. Just him and me. And the only time he wins is when I deal. So I don't do any betting till he gets the deck. Now I'm really going to give it to him. I'll break him good. 
I got to get back now. Easiest money I ever made. Well, I guess Nick ain't so much of a gambler after all, is he, Mr. Dillon? Nick knows what he's doing, Chester. I'm going to follow him down. I want to watch this. more pleasure, packs more pleasure. Chesterfield packs more pleasure because Chesterfield's more perfectly packed. The more perfectly packed your cigarette, the more taste and mildness are released for you. Chesterfield, made by exclusive Accuray, has an open, easy draw that unlocks all the pleasure of fine tobaccos. Now, Accuray ensures an even distribution of tobacco from one end of your Chesterfield to the other. Chesterfield is firm and pleasing to the lips. Mild, yet deeply satisfying. Chesterfield packs more pleasure because Chesterfield's more perfectly packed. To the touch, to the taste, Chesterfield packs more pleasure because it's more perfectly packed. By Chesterfield. Mild, yet they satisfy the most. <laughs> Just in time, Marshal. Game's just about to get started again. That's fine, Enoch. Uh, you mind if I watch? No, oh, of course not. Here, your deal, Nick. There's your dick. Well, pick it up and deal. What are you waiting for, Nick? Makes me nervous to have people watching, Enoch. I told you that. Oh, Marshal ain't people. Go on, deal. I'll join you later for a drink, Matt. You mean I'll spoil the game if I watch? Maybe that's what I mean. Well, let him have his way, Marshal. Don't bother him if it makes him nervous. I'm sorry, Enoch. I'm staying. Oh, you're not, Matt. So you lied to me, Nick. And now I'm warning you. You're through here, Nick. Am I... No, don't do it! My hand! Look at my hand! You busted his hand, Marshal. He'd have killed me if I hadn't. I'll kill you yet. Yeah, sure. But first, you better let Doc fix that hand. Come on, I'll take you up to him. That's the best I can do for you. Here, Nick, uh, have another drink. Huh? I could drink that whole bottle, not feel an ounce of it. That hand will hurt worse tomorrow. Tell me, Doc. Your hand's pretty badly smashed, Nick. It's going to be stiff. I won't be able to deal cards very well, will I? You won't even be able to hold a deck. Well, Matt, I guess that does it. <laughs> no more taking my time setting up suckers like Enoch Mills for one big stake and leaving town fast after it's done. I guess that's all over. Yeah, I guess it is, Nick. My gun hand, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Funny thing, Matt, now that it's all over, I feel... feel kind of relieved. 
Like you got nothing to worry about no more? You said you were going to kill me, Nick. Doesn't that worry you? You saved my life once, Matt. Saved it again tonight. I'd be pretty ungrateful to hold that against you, wouldn't I? <laughs> yeah, I guess. There's one thing I do hold against you. What? Well, maybe I'll get used to it again. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to have to go back to being honest. <laughs> Um, Doc. Uh, yes, ma'am? Why don't you and I sit down and uh, help Nick finish that bottle? Huh? Well, <laughs> by golly. Oh, Sergio, that's it, Matt. <laughs> I knew there was something more that we could do for him. moment, our star, William Conrad. Chesterfield packs more pleasure because Chesterfield's more perfectly packed. Chesterfield, made by exclusive Accurate, packs more pleasure because it's more perfectly packed, unlocks all the pleasure of fine tobaccos. Chesterfield packs more pleasure because Chesterfield's more perfectly packed. Firm and pleasing to the lips. Chesterfield, mild, yet they satisfy the most. You know, frontier cattlemen often fought and died over grazing land or because of water rights with sheepmen. But next week, a feud flares up because of two people in love. But that was the West. Good night. Gunsmoke. Produced and directed by Norman MacDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. Our story was specially written for Gunsmoke by John Meston, with music composed and conducted by Rex Corey. Sound patterns by Tom Hanley and Bill James. Featured in the cast were Lawrence Dobkin, Harry Bartell, John Daner, and Ralph Moody. Harley Bear is Chester, Howard McNair is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. Make today your big red letter day, your L and M red letter day. Superior taste and filter, it's the miracle tip. Make today your big red letter day. Change to L and M today. L and M's got everything. Superior taste and superior filter. Get L and M today. This is it. L and M, superior taste and filter. L and M, America's best filter tip cigarette. Be sure and listen to another transcribed story of the Old West on Gunsmoke next week at this same time. <laughs>